Typically, I like to cover a stock now and then if there's an underlying value for the company and if the price is attractive. Lately, I find myself looking at the same old stocks because the list is getting smaller and smaller and the deals are fewer and farther between, but I'll keep looking. Now, we would all love to have the investing success achieved by Warren Buffett, but even Warren is having more difficulty finding bargains. So, let's take a look to see why. Lately, the Buffett indicator has been flashing a warning sign about the stock market. Many in the media have been reporting on this, including the Wall Street Journal, Fortune Magazine, and Bloomberg. What we're looking at here is the so-called Buffett indicator. This indicator is the value of a country's publicly traded stocks divided by the gross domestic product. The ratio is associated with Buffett because in an interview, Buffett characterized this ratio as probably the best single measure of where valuations stand at any given moment. And as of the most recent reading, we're at 193.3%, which is higher than the reading of 159.2% right before the dot-com bubble, which eventually burst. And now with this historical level, many are sounding the alarm again. On the other hand, ARK Invest's Kathy Wood has questioned the ratio recently in a series of tweets. Her point was that GDP statistics evolve during the industrial age and do not seem to be keeping up with the digital age. She further stated that, thanks to productivity, real GDP growth is probably higher and inflation lower than reported, suggesting that the quality of earnings had increased significantly. Personally, I'm not so sure about inflation being lower than reported, but that's a video for another day. But the point is, maybe this measure has seen its best days. Well, all right, then let's look at it in another way. And this chart here detrends the natural upward bias as we move along in time. By this perspective, we're at lofty levels, but we're not quite to the level we were back in the year 2000. It's also important to keep in mind other statements made by Buffett that are often overlooked. Buffett also said that the ratio has certain limitations in telling you what you need to know. He didn't give specifics about what he meant, but to be clear, this measure is not the magic wand. Buffett did answer a question about the indicator while also addressing Robert Schiller's CAPE ratio. Buffett said, Every number has some degree of meaning. It means more sometimes than others. And both of the things that you mentioned get bandied about a lot. It's not that they're unimportant. They can be very important. Sometimes they can be almost totally unimportant. It's just not quite as simple as having one or two formulas and then saying the market is undervalued or overvalued. Buffett went on to say that the most important thing is future interest rates. And right now, although interest rates have been moving up, they are still relatively low. But also keep this in mind. If Buffett was so worried about the Buffett indicator, he'd be dumping stocks left and right. But that's not what's happening. At the end of 2020, Berkshire Hathaway's stock portfolio had risen from $248 billion worth to $280 billion worth. That doesn't mean to go out and blow all of your cash because the deals are not as easy to spot as they had been before. So, be patient and be prudent. And for today, that's Chew Dog Charts. Thank you.